Hi everybody, so this is the last lesson of the 2024 version of the A2 Sequences and Series Pack. You'll be glad to know I've slept since doing the third and fourth lesson and making loads of mistakes, so hopefully I shouldn't make any mistakes. Just a little recap, if you wanted the sum to infinity, the idea is that the term, so the number in the list, gets that small that when you add it onto the total, the sum, it doesn't make it any bigger. And you get that sum to infinity because it hits that number. So you have to be careful because the wording will say sum to infinity. Now we have something else which can be a little bit more confusing. And it's called the limits of a sequence. And the reason it's confusing is because it says as, 10, as n tends to infinity in the question. So if you're not careful, you do the sum to infinity. So the idea of, of this one is that eventually the term stays the same. So sum to infinity, the term becomes so small that when you add it on, it doesn't change the total, the sum. Whereas limits of a sequence is where you get that far down the list, but the number stays the same. Right, so this is what this is trying to tell us here. Um, right, now then, we can actually do it in a calculator. So by putting 3 into here and seeing what you get out. It's recursive, so what you get in, if what you put in, it gives you what you're, what you're going to use next time. So if I just do it with this, this one here. So I'm going to put in 3 in my calculator. So 3 exits right here and then I'm going to do 0 0.6 times ans in my calculator plus 2 xc so 0 0.6 times shift and a little negative down there add on 2 xc so that gives me 3.0 now, if I just repeatedly press exit, it will eventually give me the limit. So the number eventually in the list doesn't change. So if I just press it, press it, press it, keep going, keep going, you can see it's kind of aiming towards five, isn't it? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep pressing. Uh, it takes a lot of pressing, and eventually, eventually, it hits five. So that would be the limit of the sequence, that eventually the number in the list becomes the same. So if I do it with the like, algebraic we now, so the idea with this is that the number you get out is the same as the number you put in because this is recursive. So eventually, does that make sense? So eventually, what you get out is what you put in. So eventually, I'll put five in, get five out. If I do that, what I can do is I can call the terms L. So my, my formula, which was the next one, is 0 0.6 lots of the one you've got plus 2 becomes L equals 0 0.6 lots of L plus 2. So I've changed the terms into L, and all I do now is rearrange it. So if I take 0.6L off, I've got 0.4L, which is two fifths, remember. And then, if I just divide by the 0.4, which is dividing by two fifths, the twos cancel out, and I'm just left with five. So what I had on my calculator, miraculously, is the same as what I've got algebraically. So it's really important that you know the difference. 
Sum to infinity, the term gets that small, but the total doesn't change. Limits of the sequence, as n tends to infinity, the term becomes the same, and I call it n. Well, five minutes, that's five minutes of waffling for that, that kind of key definition there. It kind of, historically, people stuff this off on their exam papers. So please, please don't be one of those people. It's a nice, easy thing if you can get it in your head. Right, let's have a look at this example then before we run out of time. So it says the sequence is de defined by this. So it tells me the first three terms. So using u1 and u2, I know that u2 is p lots of u1 plus q. So I know that 150 is, I'm going to put, it down, put the 200 down first, 200p plus q. I also know that u3 is p lots of u2 plus q. Because I've put u1 in, it gives me u2. I put u2 in, it gives me u3. So using this bit here, I know that 120 is 150p plus q. So I'm just going to solve them simultaneously. So remember, in your calculator, do it letter, letter, equals number. And I'll set to report. Right, sorry about that. Uh, so then letter, letter, equals number. Just John nipped in to ask me a question. See if the emulator was working, the calculator. And it is. So if I stick that into symbol, it gives me P as three fifths and Q as 30. So that's part A done. I found P and Q. So now it says, what's my limit? So I've got the P and Q, so my UN plus 1 is 3 fifths of UN plus 30. That's not 3 fifths, plus 30. So if I do the limit bit now, so my UN plus 1, the next one, is 3 fifths of UN plus 30. Change the UNs from UN plus 1 into L. I've got one lot of L, a little one there, minus three fifths lot of L, so I've got two fifths lot of L is 30. What's that going to be? So 30 divided by 2 is 15, 15 times 5 is 75. And we can try it on the calculator. You should have the calculator as well, I've got a bit of time on there. Uh, delete. All. So I put the what am I putting in? Oh, I've not got a first term. Ah, I'm not doing that in calculator. Yeah, I have. I've got a first term, 200. 200. Uh, so what am I doing? So 0 0.6, which is my 3 fifths, times ands, plus 30, and then just go for it. And eventually, it should knock down 7. So it's already getting close, isn't it? To 75. Oh, a few more times, come on. Yeah, there you go. Down to 75. Right, let's have a look. So I'm on 9 minutes 3 now, so let's see what's next. So it should be a question for you. So, like with the other video, except I didn't pause it then, like the video, because I was tired and forgot. I'll work it out, and then you just check it against yours. I'll just pause it now. I said you do it, but then that one's a little bit harder, isn't it? So the first bit's fine. Well, this talks about this, the infinity of the, the, the term, the limit, 24. So that's where this 24 formula comes from. So if I solve them simultaneously, uh, where is it, where is it? I get P, oops, is two thirds, and Q is eight. So B for U3, will be two thirds of u two plus eight. So u three is two